Hello everyone, today's tutorial is about autoencoders and generative adversarial neural networks. Vince models are very powerful models for reconstructing and generating images that will be similar to realistic data. First, we will talk about how to use autoencoders for removing noising in unsupervised way and then we will talk how to generate realistic images using deep convolutional generative adversarial network DCGN. So let's go in deep to the noisic autoencoders PyTorch implementation. So, first we are, as always, import all the packages that we need for uh, our training model. So, we import our Torch and Torch CUDA and, uh, of course, optimization auto grad. And uh, we are, will we'll use dataset that calls Cypher 10. So we are taking this dataset from a Torch Vision. It's package that have a lot of uh, ready datasets that that, we, that you can use them, uh, and we will use functional f for building neural network. So C410 is datasets that consists sixty thousand of images. Each image have uh, dimensions of 32 by 32 uh, of course RGB uh, we have uh, 50,000 training images and 10,000 test images so it is actually the example of uh, our data set great so first we are doing pre-processing of our data but we are divide our data set for train and validation that, uh, uh, for training and, valid and validation uh, uh, lists and then while it's ready we can use this our data set for training model so let's see before what kind of problem we want to solve. So, uh, we built some utility for, dis for display original noise and the noise images. So, we, this function is show, image have actually three of these inputs. No original noise and then the noise. So, we want to plot these images into composed in one plot, so as we actually sample or some uh, uh, we sample uh, one of of uh, each group. So this is actually we have original group, original image. This one is noisy image. We you, we add some noise, and here is example of the noise or reconstructed image with removing. A, our noise by autoencoder model. So uh, let's talk about hyperparameters that we use for training our autoencoder. So we you, we uh, set here batch size for two uh, thousand for uh, two two hundred and fifteen. And we uh, have some learning rate and noise level. Again, this is hyperparameters, so we can change it, and f actually we can uh, tune it uh, for from uh, empirical observation. So uh, learning rate can be reduced or uh, be uh, de de or de increased or decreased. Uh, actually, we uh, simulate noise of 10%. Uh, uh, we, you can play with this factor and see how, mu how much it actually 
how how much it's influence on the whole the whole training process if uh, it's actually uh, how much it's how much the uh, uh, con con model convergence increasing by uh, adding more noise or uh, uh, the other other side great so um, and batch size, of course, you can, if you have no space on your uh, GPU, you can decree, reduce this uh, parameter uh, until you can uh, fit your model to your GPU and train the model. Great. So, uh, we created a data loader that we, pref that we uh, uh, prepared before. And now we are we will look on our the noise autoencoder class. So we we define some a uh, version of encoder decoder. So first we are taking our uh, original input. Then we this is the encoder set. So we. Uh, reduce dimension uh, our dimensionality of uh, our input until we, we get uh, some latent space and then we reconstruct from here we reconstruct our uh, signal by actually using the convolutions or con or uh, the conv uh, the convolution process or actually it's a uh, Convolution that are tra transposed until we get our original size of image again. Okay, so uh, first we we decode and code, and then we decode our uh, samples again to the original image, and of course then we will uh, use our loss uh, regularization, uh, our loss. Uh, um, MSE for a, a testing if we how much before how are we far from the original uh, input and then we will optimize uh, our uh, our uh, network by dec decreasing our loss. So, forward process, uh, we define our forward, so our forward is actually this way, so you, uh, it's not new, and uh, then we define our decoder that uh, taking, the X first, taking the X and reconstruct it. This is really great. So, uh, here we have our demosing autoencoder that we, it, it's a model that we set to CUDA for, of course, uh, uh, enhance our performance. And uh, here we defined parameters. So it's actually our parameter that we use uh, for uh, training autoencoder. And we use loss functions. Again, we use MSE loss, which is a, a common metric for uh, testing uh, uh, how far reconstructed image from the original image and to me and by minimize it uh, uh, we reconstruct better signal actually it's uh, we achieving a, a better PSNR uh, quality of, of our reconstructed image by this metric so we want to head be, uh, as as much as high PSNR of our reconstructed image so we use optimizer uh, Adam. So you can actually, actually the, it's uh, empirical investigation. So you can you, you can use a simple SGD or SGD with momentum with momentum for training this kind of neural networks too. So train loss and validation loss we defined the list, and now we are starting for a our uh, training so we uh, this actually the, here we uh, running 
down epochs and testing our performance. So first we record the validation loss. So here we record our validation loss by a defining our, our noise and image and uh, actually the output of autoencoders and the, the loss and the total and the total uh, validation iteration. Okay, great. So after we defined all our function or uh, our functions uh, and uh, parameters for training, uh, we let's visualize our uh, the first image and the, of the last batch of, of our validation set. So we actually have here we print. Let's start from the first iteration. So it starts from the, some original, it's noisy and it's the, the noise, and then we sample its, uh, from the, its sample from the second iteration, and it's from the third iteration, and etc. cetera, et cetera. So as you can see, uh, as we proceed uh, and train our model, the father samples from the father iteration uh, give us better and better results of our denoised. Actually, our denoised image are more and more uh, uh, similar to our original image. Great. So we save our model. Here we save our model and uh, we want to plot it. Okay, so we define plot strain loss, plot validation loss defined legend and here what we can see. Great. So here we see uh, our training loss and our validation loss. So uh, actually we start our training loss started here from some uh, very high loss and uh, during the uh, during the training we actually uh, from the second epoch our validation loss and, and our uh, training laws are aligned, okay? So ag again, you can achieve better results by uh, using uh, other empirical, uh, uh, other, other uh, by fine-tuning hyperparameters and uh, achieving more uh, 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 better convergence, uh, maybe some uh, more uh, smooth convergence, but to, to and but th that convergence will take you more epochs, but for the better uh, local minima. Uh, but again, it's for for proving concept. Uh, we uh, uh, we choose some uh, very simple and uh, uh, d very, very simple uh, hyperparameters. Actually, actually we, we, we generated some, uh, we took them uh, randomly and uh, performed only 10 iterations of our training. Okay, so after we, s we saw the convergence of our training process, uh, we want to show you a standalone inference. So once we have a trained our model, we saved our weights. Now we only want to inference our model using our fixed weights that ha we have actually uh, achieved during our training. So we uh, using some uh, functions uh, that we imported. We import random, and here we 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 actually uh, defined images and noise. We use some noise level. It's, it's actually our reaper parameter, so you can you can uh, play with this uh, parameter, and then we do, we actually applied our function our autoencoder uh, that we have uh, uh, trained and we achieved inference on the original uh, picture or the original input and here the results. Look, this is our original sample 
and here is, this is the noise sample, and this is actually the noise sample that we got during uh, applying our model and fit forward, fit forwarding only fit forwarding our sample from the input to the output. So the original is the, our input, the noise our output, noise is noisy, it's actually intermediate uh, stage that we adding noise to our images. Great, so before we continue, let's summarize what about autoencoders. Uh, so, auto so today we saw, uh, we uh, trained uh, you, uh, in, in Py uh, using PyTorch uh, autoencoder for removing noising. Uh, autoencoder is very powerful uh, neural network that can generate uh, images and you rec reconstruct them from a real data set uh, by and we can remove all uh, uh, kind of noises uh, by uh, or, uh, by uh, actually adding add some term of uh, minimize the loss of the reconstructed images to original images there are a lot of other uh, ways to use autoencoders uh, one of that i want to, to mention about them is actually to better uh, extract our features so you can use your autoencoder before you train your neural network to find interesting regions of your uh, inputs actually using some uh, some uh, uh, like attention by uh, only feed forward your uh, your input to uh, autoencoder and then you you actually the reconstruct image is like it's image that have more uh, more uh, in, in more interesting uh, and, and, and more in, 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 in efficient uh, uh, regions that can help us to uh, ex uh, um, extract more features actually for the, from the original images and it can help you by uh, for training your uh, neural, net, 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 neural network uh, by uh, actually taking uh, m uh, images after autoencoder. Great. So uh, the another ki another ki uh, type uh, of autoencoder that uh, uh, was discussed in the class is variation autoencoder. So the different from the autoencoder that, that 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 we saw now and variation autoencoder that. Uh, your latent space, uh, or actually your your latent space, it's actually the uh, your feature feature maps uh, for uh, after uh, your encoder uh, are sampled from some distribution, and then you reconstruct your uh, your your generator, your reconstructor are used by sampling this distribution. So, uh, using variation of autoencoder, using distribution, using this intermediate distribution that you actually backpropagate from the reconstructed output to, uh, to, to this latent space, or i.e. this generator, uh, you can uh, uh, generate more realistic inputs uh, and uh, you can uh, actually to uh, uh, use it for more stochastic uh, data, uh, more complicated to reconstruct more complicated data rather than a, a simple autoencoder. So now we'll talk about GANs. GANs is actually types of uh, very powerful neural networks that generate uh, images that are very similar to a uh, original images unsupervised way uh, 
of the first generation of GANs is actually DC gen that was invented by Jan Goodfellow, and uh, it actually consists two neural networks. The first is generator, the second is discriminator. So the generator role is to generate image from some uh, from this from Z. Z is the vector uh, of uh, the length of this is 100, and he has a uniform distribution. And we want we actually uh, use the convolutions to reconstruct the from this from this Z image, okay? And then, we, once we have reconstructed image, we use discriminator. That discriminator is actually a classification neural networks that have two inputs, actually the real image and the reconstructed image. And uh, the, uh, this, no, this uh, network want to distinguish or designed to distinguish between the real and the generated image. So, actually our goal is to fool the discriminator that he will classify the generated image like it is real image. Okay? So what do we want actually want? We want that actually a, a DG Z or actually or the uh, discriminator will show that our reconstructed image is actually one and not zero. So it's actually the real image. So we have conflict goals, yeah, because we want that that we want to fool our discriminator by generating uh, realistic images that will be not distinguished between the real images. So both of these goals are unsupervised, yeah, because you may need labels. From the re for to our Im to, to to the real images, your do it is unsupervised way. You only should to uh, feed pairs. Great. So the optimal of uh, actually optimal is it's like what the end of our of the end goal is that the our discriminator will classify in fifteen percent probability that it's real or fake images or uh, uh, generated fake is like like gen generated images okay so we can do it better because if we d classify 15 percent that it's real or images it's like we uh, cannot tell the difference between the real and the generated images so gd runs the training images dist distribution great so first of all, we will see uh, how we train it, how we implement it, uh, how it looks like PyTorch implementation of this again, and we'll talk about some uh, uh, investigations of, uh, of uh, uh, this again and what the difference of this again and uh, uh, how what the difference of generated images by this again and a variational autoencoder. Great. So first we uh, uh, do all our imports. We import uh, all the packages that we need for our training. So Torch Vision, Torch Utils, uh, Autographs, of course, and uh, uh, other matplotlib uh, functions that we need. So first we are loading data. So we have burst of size, image size 64, batch size 64. We uh, use uh, initial learning rate. So pay attention. Training this again is very very difficult because uh, it's very uh, unstable. Yeah, so it's very unstable. Uh, 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 and for this purpose we use ver very small rates of learning for not diverge our model. So we prefer to uh, proceed very slow but not uh, to get off our uh, uh, training process by a divergence, gra gra gradient divergence. Great. So uh, 
our that data set it's uh, we will work on our cipher so uh, we do all the preprocessing that we need and here we defined our size of latent of latent vector so we defined uh, 100 and the filter size of generator is actually 64 filter size of discriminator is uh, 64 and the output in the channels is it's actually 3 because it's RGB great so now we are initializing our network so custom weights initialized called on a network G and network generator and network D so here we define actually way initializing our weights uh, we, do, we do it here so we uh, use uh, these parameters uh, and then we define our generator so our generator is actually a net G it's very simple so we are starting from the from some uh, vector uh, latent vector Z and then we are using again conf transpose D so it's uh, the convolutions to reconstruct to up up size uh, up, up sample our feature for getting a original uh, original Im Im image size once we finish to do it we have forward of uh, we can uh, define the forward on this function great so here we define net g so net g applies weights so now we initialize the uh, initialized weights to our model uh, to our generator okay so now we will plan a, a, a discriminator so pay attention on some curious interesting uh, empirical results that uh, are actually the, uh, uh, we uh, use them for uh, in but for so, so we we use them uh, to uh, uh, construct discriminator and uh, it's uh, let's talk about them so network d is actually consists of uh, it's a, it's classic uh, classification neural network but we used some parameters to be different rather than a classic uh, uh, classification net network we need leaky 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 relu and we actually use uh, stride with convolution and not pooling so uh, you, uh, empirically, like Ricky Relu, uh, achieve uh, get better results than using Relu because again, Ricky Relu is actually we have uh, uh, the uh, difference between Ricky Relu and Relu that in Ricky Relu we have uh, values on negative sides, and uh, so it's use, using uh, to. Uh, to to uh, t taking uh, more uh, margin actually to enlarge our uh, margins of uh, the uh, values that we use uh, to uh, expand our dynamic range of the values, giving better results and uh, for the for training discriminator, and the second is actually use using a convolu style convolutions to down sample rather than using uh, or uh, max pooling or, or or pooling actually pooling is uh, one of it's simple uh, uh, down sample uh, it's simple way to down, down sample our feature net features but uh, uh, empirically it get uh, it's get uh, the, the results are better when we use stride convolution so stride convolution is actually we uh, we, we, we by, by using starting convolutions we actually achieve a, a 
more information from, from we we doing uh, we do, we doing uh, the down sample by uh, taking uh, taking account uh, more more information for, that depends on image rather than uh, statistic uh, st uh, more more statistics information that actually by feature ext extracting rather than using uh, pooling that have no clue about your real uh, which of the features are important and which are not. So here you took in more important features and to in, the, and enhance them for uh, during your uh, network. Great. Uh, so uh, f once we, fi uh, we finish to uh, build our discriminator, we are going to define losses. So uh, our, criteria, our loss criterion is actually a BCE loss, okay? So we use uh, our input, so noise and fixed noise, and here we actually def we will define our, uh, our uh, loss criterion, and uh, uh, we will apply a CUDA uh, on our model for uh, train the model on GPU. So here we define our optimizer. So we find the optimizer that we've chosen, it's uh, Adam optimizer. Again, it can be uh, SUD or SUD when even new SUD, but Adam get a better result in this case. So uh, let's see what, how we train. So uh, we want to maximize our, so uh, updating the discriminator network, we want to maximize log dx plus log one minus dgz. Okay, so we want to maximize this term and train with real, okay? So now we will uh, train with real data. So we uh, initialize our uh, discriminator gradients uh, and uh, here we will uh, update Generator network. So generator network will maximize the log d g z or minimize minus one minus this term. So in this way we are playing minimize maximize minimizing maximizing uh, game. Okay. So uh, here we do the same the same step. We define we defined our back propagation and we uh, starting to training. So here is actually the, uh, we, I, I, I have printed some, uh, the, the start and the, and the end of the train. So it is the first epoch of 25, this is the last epoch of 25. So we have started from some parameters. So we have started from uh, this, actually that we have, that we, uh, have the uh, our uh, loss very high, so uh, the loss of G was six, and the loss of uh, D wa was one uh, dot uh, nine, and in the end we have we we actually can see that we uh, the loss of G has increased and the loss of D has increased, and uh, actually we uh, finished our. Uh, we, we fin and we, we got very high classification uh, results. So we uh, let, let's see let's see the the picture the the samples or the images that we have real and uh, what our uh, GAN uh, generated. So it's the real uh, in, in the real images and this image is actually taken from the epoch 24. So the the last epoch. So you can see that we generated a lot of interesting and uh, realistic images. Great. So uh, we have talked about uh, and we saw how to train this again and how to uh, train uh, autoencoder and uh, what each of them, uh, what the, the loss of each of them for getting uh, actually a reconstructed, uh, Im reconstructed image.
Okay, so uh, I want to add a few a few words about the difference of variation autoencoder that you have seen in the class, rather than uh, and uh, what the difference between the generated generation uh, images uh, with using him and uh, generating using this again. So the version autoencoder uh, and generative adversarial networks GANs uh, actually developed. Uh, independently, okay. So uh, some interesting similarities and difference between these two models that I have uh, paid attention. So uh, unlike variation autoencoder, that only a decoder is learned, and encoder is not learned in the train process of the generative uh, of the of the GANs. Uh, therefore. Actually, uh, GAN is not designed to reconstruct uh, some sp specific input sample, uh, like VAIN, uh, but both of models can generate images like the base data, okay? So, uh, actually, it happens because the, our latent hidden space has known structure, uh, typically we use Gaussian, okay? So, uh, in general, the GAN produce sample of better quality. Better quality, actually, less uh, blurry images, that, it, that images that, that, that actually we, we see them more realistic. And this is bec that actually bec is because the uh, adversarial approach himself Specifically designed to produce realistic images because we uh, we actually the, the uh, we want we the uh, we want to fool uh, our disc uh, discriminator that he will classify the, the generated images uh, to be like uh, real images. Okay, and uh, variational autoencoder is actually uh, it's designed to uh, reproduce, to minimize, or uh, actually to, uh, to uh, uh, minimize the reconstruction error, okay? For a specific image, okay? The, it for the model to average, to average over all our plausible outputs, and averaging over th these outputs uh, often slightly shift, shifted from one from other, so, is actually a direct cause of blueness. So, uh, on, on the other hand, a method that is specifically designed to produce object of a quality that full discriminator will create a single object in which, in actually, the different portions in harm in more in harmony with one another. Okay, actually, they're more realistic. And the version of the uh, methodology is quite different from the GANs uh, because we use the representation approach uh, in VAE, okay? Uh, and he, this way we can actually to generate more uh, uh, better quality images for stochastic nature, okay? Uh, but on the other hand, uh, maximizing uh, or actually minimizing uh, MSE loss or getting the uh, getting uh, getting uh, images with more personal better personal quality doesn't mean that they are looks like realistic. So in the same way, both of the, uh, one of the model uh, of VAE is is we we getting better images uh, in terms of PSML, but, uh, and uh, we have uh, less artifacts. Uh, on the other hand, we have model that, uh, 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 GANs that uh, produce images with more artifacts, uh, and for sure uh, we get uh, less, uh, the images have more noise and uh, we achieved less PSML images but they look like more realistic. Thank you.